Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. I'm going to read from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read a prayer. Giving thanks unto the Father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the, of the saints in light who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. This is from the book of Psalm, chapter 15, verse 1. Here's the prayer. Your word has said we are to be intimidators of you, to live in love, to be forgiven, and tenderhearted. I have tried to be kind and loving in all circumstances, but I have not always succeeded. Yet, in your tender mercy, you have allowed some of your goodness to shine through in my family and the rest of my life. I am so grateful. Okay, I'm going to read an article. It's from... Hold on. Okay, it's from aconsciousrethink.com. And it's called 16 Things Money Can't Buy You That Can All Be Had for Free. It's a safe bet that most of us have had the if I had enough money daydream of personal fulfillment as a social contract. As a social construct, money can do wonderful things. It lets you buy movie tickets with friends, facilitates dates, allows you or allows for the purchase of ingredients to make homemade soup. But let's never pretend we can't and don't enjoy the company of friends without it. Foster intimacy and love in its absence or achieve perfect bliss in finding the ingredients for various types of dishes in the wild. Despite humanity's worldwide fixation on money, there are things no amount of it can buy. Number one, contentment. Money never buys contentment. Time and again, we've seen the opposition. We've seen the opposite action holding true. The more one possesses, the more one wants. The need for more becomes a strange addiction to dissatisfaction, rather than the strength, rather than the search for contentment. Number two, happiness. No matter how many material possessions, if your life lacks equal, equilibrium and balance, money doesn't stabilize things. If anything, it sends it spending off in some wild, unexpected tangent. Over and over again, we see examples of the wealthy being utterly miserable. They're not happy in their love lives, family lives, or even their careers. So clearly, money does not buy happiness. Number three, love. In the thousands of years of human history, money successfully purchasing a sense of true love sits solidly at zero occurrences. Love is transactional only by the deeper connections forged of trust, openness, commun communion, and compassion. There's no coin on this planet that comes close to that grace. Number four, spiritu spirituality. No matter how much we, we tied, no matter the alms to the poor or vacation trips to remote temples 
spirituality requires a deeper connection to to the all than writing our name on a check or swiping a credit card. Thinking money aids and that connection is an automatic go back to start move in the game of life. Number five, family harmony. With what amount of money would make Uncle Joe respect Aunt Mary? Or cause dad to be less retentive to accept, mom to honestly care. There's always a temptation to think that if we could only give enough to this person to eliminate their stresses, some to that person or maybe just have enough to simply put respectable distance between ourselves and the rest of the family. It would bring about the positive, familiar transformation we always desire. Nope, it never works. Number six, self-worth. Count the number of times people with expensive watches feel the need to check the time when around others. Then look at the person who thirsts their huge engagement ring in others' faces at the slightest provocation. Common thread, they, they are their possessions. Their sense of self-worth is so fragile, they need to booster it with trendy, expensive, conspicuous things people can't fail to notice. Sadly, when the things are gone and the people are gone, so is the worst. Number seven, respect. The rich blow hard, crowing to fawning crowds about the greatness he's achieved in such a click. It should be guilt, guilt edge and filigree. Respect doesn't fit in a wallet, trust fund, inheritance, or hudge account. Respect is too grand a notion for those small things. If anything, money often causes people to behave in ways that diminish what little respect they might have gained attempting to, attempting to be decent human beings. Number eight, gratitude. Generosity is great except when performed when the expectation that those receiving the boon will kneel. But there are many who have precisely that attitude I gave. Now please shower me with gratitude. True gratitude never comes with a price tag. And when true, it's always freely given. Number nine, friends. This, could, this one could be written on a chalkboard a thousand times and still need repeat. Repetition or re repetition. Money doesn't buy friends. A wallet as a gravitational center is going to attract the nearest bits of human, a humanoid rubber and flat sam, not the stellar bodies abounding. Rubber and flat sam exist to take advantage of others to build themselves up at others' expense. That is by no stretch of the imagination anyone's definition of a tried and true friend. Number 10, forgiveness. Sometimes we mess up. Know what money can't buy. Money can't buy our way out of that inescapable fact of life. Not the purchase of a diamond, a banquet, a suit, or a toy box full of Christmas toy or Christmas gifts. Or bonnet, not banquet, but bonnet. Yet, who hasn't thought if I could only find the right thing, I could make it all better? Forgiveness comes from laying oneself before others, 
not by proxy or barbel. Excuse me. Number 11, truth. The amount of money spent on political campaigns could likely wipe out a social ill today before lunch. Yet we all know how much truth is contained in those pondering cesspools of marketing. A big budget is never an alternative to facts. Number 12, compassion. Even ostracized people can throw money at charities, yet money can't buy a compassionate heart where there's lack of one. It can't make us care, empathize, or seek to solve. At best, money can elevate certain ills, the ills which our systems of, elect, of economics themselves create. But compassion is the act of dismantling, dismantling the barriers between perception and the sufferings of others, not shifting cash allotments. allotments. Number 13, connection. Money can cer certainly guarantee a goggle of people around you, but not a single one of that goggle is actually with you. Money can keep you on the go and zip into and, fo and fro, but how often will you feel that you're actually there? A sense of connection comes from the inner life, which is free of charge, saying hello to the inner lives of others. It requires honesty, time, and an interest in the world not found on the rate of your savings account. Number 14, loyalty. Loyalty is a result of respect of character, not financial transaction. Money can buy psychopath. I'm going to just spell it out. S-Y-C-O-P-H-A-N-T-S T-O-A-D-I-E-S and foot soldiers who will, all turn a mo who will all turn a moment a better offer appears from somewhere else. And the last one, number 15... Oh no, it ain't the last one, I'm sorry. Number 15, money might buy a weapon, which is a... Oh, number 15, safety. I'm sorry, safety. Money might buy a weapon, which is a guarantee of danger. Money might place you in a affluent neighborhood, which is essentially a ticking time bomb. Money will never, however, provide a permanent force Feel protecting anyone from the crimes of humanity. And now the last one, number 16, purpose. We can see why the signing group Crash Tats Dummies made their signature hit Superman's song featuring this P O I G N A N T refrain. Superman never made any money. Saving the world from Solomon Grundy. And sometimes I despair. The world will never see another man like him. Money has its use. And is a fabulous distraction. But the things can't be bought. Tend to the things we as a. Planetary community. Eternally need. And that's the end of the article. Ooh, some of them words was hard for me to pronounce. I'm sorry, y'all, if I messed up any words. I was trying. Some I had to spell out. But overall, I hope you all like this article. I think it was an interesting article. And I'm going to put a link to this article in my description box below. So if any of y'all want to read this article and check it out, then all you have to do is click on the link and it'll take you right to the article and to the website. But until then, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching and you all have a good evening. Peace.